Diversity Trailblazers at Pennsylvania Military College and Widener University. This exhibit highlights some of the notable, courageous trailblazers who broke ethnic and racial barriers at Widener University. Diversity on today's campus has flourished thanks to the courage of these original trailblazers. This presentation includes mention of a number of oral history videos. To listen to them, visit the Widener University Archives YouTube channel. International students began arriving at PMC as early as 1871, and a century later, at least 14 countries have been represented. The international students came from many diverse countries. Juan de Chacon was from Cuba, and Abdul Muammar was from Saudi Arabia. The student on the left was from Havana, Cuba, and the one on the right from Bangkok, Thailand. Started in 1958, the International Club's mission was to, quote, enlighten their fellow members on the different and exotic customs and traditions indigenous to their homeland, end quote. The club received its charter in 1968. In 1978, the club celebrated its 10th anniversary. This image is from the 1978 yearbook and describes the club at the time. This slide shows international students sharing their culture during the 1970s. This slide shows international students sharing their culture during Widener's International Week in 2013. International students went on an excursion to Philadelphia aboard the Spirit of Philadelphia for Labor Day in 2016. Native American trailblazer James Spurrier, class of 1940, was from the Osage tribe. He came to PMC from Oklahoma and was a star player on the PMC polo team. After graduation, Spurrier served in the Army. He saw action in the Pacific Theater during World War II and earned a silver star for leading his troops in an attack on the Japanese. He also received a bronze star and a purple heart. In 1954, in response to changes in society, Pennsylvania Military College began enrolling African American students. Howard Lee Scott entered PMC in 1954 and was the first African American to enroll in PMC as a civilian. He graduated in 1957. Howard Lee Scott also integrated PMC Widener Athletics as a civilian student, playing football during the 1954 and 1955 seasons. Charles Lowry enrolled in the Pennsylvania Military Preparatory School in 1954. In 1956, he became one of the first two African-American PMC cadets. At the Widener University Archives YouTube channel, you can listen to a joint interview with Charles Lowry and Keith Bodden discussing their experiences at PMC. Keith Bodden enrolled at PMC in 1956. Born in Jamaica, he referred to himself as a cadet of color. He graduated in 1960. Chris Pendarvis enrolled in PMC in 1957 and played on the 1957-58 football team. He was the first African-American cadet to play football at PMC. Lewis Horner was the Jackie Robinson of Widener, being the first African-American on PMC varsity basketball and baseball teams. Horner tells the story of the time when he and some classmates attended a segregated movie theater in Baltimore. He was told he had to sit on the balcony, and all his PMC classmates insisted on buying tickets to the balcony as well, so they could sit together. G. 
Gene Fessler became active in the Pershing Rifles, the PMC Championship Military Drill Team. He won a second place trophy in the individual drill competition at the 1962 National Drill Meet. In 1968, Dr. Eugene Sparrow, professor of sociology, became the first African-American professor at Widener. Professor Sparrow taught classes in the newly created Project Prepare program in 1969. Started in 1969 by Dr. Cavan and Dr. Sparrow, Project Prepare provided lower income students with the support they needed to become successful college graduates. In 1969, five female trailblazers became the first African-American women to attend PMC colleges, the predecessor of Widener. A black student union was formed on campus in 1969. In 1971, seven anti-Vietnam War activists broke into the media FBI office. Stolen dossiers reveal the FBI had investigated the campus's black student union and tapped its telephone wires. Brent Staples was born and raised in Chester and was in the first Project Prepare class in 1969. Among his many achievements include being a member of the New York Times editorial board and a noted author. Chester native John Linder was another early student in the Project Prepare program. Linder, an educator, eventually became the mayor of Chester. Widener University's African American Alumni Association was established in 1997 with Keith Bodden as one of its founding members. Widener's BSU has continued to grow and remains a well-known campus organization. This graph shows how diverse Widener has become as a result of these many milestones. If you want to learn more, you can listen to all the oral histories mentioned in this video at the Widener Archives YouTube channel.